Back in the day, people developed an argument that a creator of the universe must exist simply because everything around us is too beautiful and so amazing to have been developed on its own. Well, today, it's easier to assume that we are being run by a computer program. John Conway's Game of Life, developed in 1970, is a nice way of visualizing the general concept. Rendered as a two-dimensional grid of cells, each cell has eight neighboring cells that can either be alive or dead. Once a set of cells are assigned, the simulation runs, and no matter how chaotic the initial conditions may appear to be, patterns evolve into order. To what extent could this concept scale towards simulating our own universe, and how might that explain that we're living by the same type of simulation? Skip ahead to 2003. In the simulation argument, University of Oxford philosophy professor Nick Bostrom concludes that we are not only probably living in a digitally simulated world, but that we are definitely living in one. Now, in a potentially amazing coup for metaphysics, a method for testing Bostrom's hypothesis has been suggested, and apparently one group of physicists is already running experiments. The trick is to use lattice quantum chromodynamics. Such calculations provide a better understanding of particle and nuclear physics experiments in terms of quarks and gluons which I'm sure you already know all about, so I don't need to explain it. In this particular case, physicists are using supercomputers with Lattice to simulate the creation of a universe from scratch, with the hopes that after running it long enough, over and over again with variances, they will eventually be able to come close to developing a universe that looks and feels a lot like ours. And it's all fun and games until the program gets hacked. And then what? And who's the dev responsible for fixing it? And how did this even happen in the first place? From wherever we are, I've been assigned as Kagan, and this is Rocket Boom.